In this video, we're in episode 9 of the Deluge Bootcamp series. We're going to check out glitching resampling level 3. We're going to go into more experimental explorations this time using the line-in oscillator. It is recommended to watch these videos until you fully understand how it works. Use the timestamps in the description below to go to the section you need to work on. Even 5 minutes a day practice can go a long way. Please make sure to ask in the comments below if you have any problems or questions. So let's power on. We're going to start with shift, synth. I'm going to push down on the select knob, push down on oscillator 1, and then type. Now we're going to change the type to in left right. I have a mixer plugged in to the audio in of the deluge. Let's exit out by pressing any of the pads here. Now I'm going to enter in a note, C3. Let's press down and it'll say C3. Let's enter that in. Now that note is simply going to play the original pitch of the audio line in as the oscillator, the real-time audio source. This is its default pitch. Now since this is only running as a synthesizer oscillator, we have to note, we're not going to hear the audio signal unless you're holding down an audition key. Or if there's notes in the sequencer and it's playing. So remember that this operates the same way as a synthesizer, except the sound of its oscillator is whatever is plugged into the line in, or if the line in's unplugged, it's just going to be the internal microphone. Note that when we change the pitch of that source audio, it'll have artifacts and sound a little lo-fi, but that's the point in using this. What I can do is actually play other notes. I think I'm going to leave this note playing. And then I'll do this note and just sequence it a little bit. Let's play one note at a time and see what it sounds like. So that's cool, but let's say I want to do a tape warble sound. If I press the modulate depth button from here, I can make a tape warble effect. So the bottom gold knob affects the amount of pitch, and the top gold knob is the rate or how fast or slow the warble is. So let's play it and hold down a note here. And we're turning. You can hear it. That's the amount going up. And then we can make it slower. So that's kind of good. What I want to do, let's change the filter, so let's turn it down a little. Turn the volume down a little. Resonance. Add a little reverb. Maybe some delay. So I'm just holding one note, and that's what it's doing. Let's resequence this and just choose some notes. And now I'm just going to press one key. You can hear the tape warble in there just a little. We're in a clear pattern. Let's just enter in the C note. Let's enter in C3. We're just going to play some notes here and press play. So there it is. It's just playing it back. Now let's chop this off and maybe put some notes in. playing back at that pattern. So I can learn that by holding learn and pressing the left right knob. Holding shift, turning the left right knob. And now we're gonna change that note and go up, let's say two semitones, and then we'll play. Now if we look here, we can see the original and then the transposed pattern. So I'm gonna hold down the notes. Now I'm not changing the notes, it's doing it for me. 
Maybe let's move this note up here. So we can change the parameters here. Active, holding down knob turning. You can hear the artifacting there. But it's not too bad. What I want to do is add the arpeggiator into here. So we're going to go in the select knob. We're going to turn to voice. Arp. Arpeggiator. Mode. Up. Sync. We're going to turn it until it says off. Press the button. Octave. We'll leave it at 2. Now we're going to map two parameters. So we're going to go to gate here. And then we're going to press custom 3, 4. Hold learn. Turn the gold knob. And then that's mapped to the bottom gold knob. And then we're going to go to rate. We're going to hold down learn and turn the top gold knob. Now we're going to exit out everything, pressing any of these pads. So now we're changing the rate here and the gate. So let's just use one note, for example. So we can change. Let's go back into voice arpeggiator. Let's change the octave to four. Let's clear the pattern, hold left right now, press back. Let's hold down shift and turn it back to one bar. And now we're just gonna play some notes that'll sound good together. And we're gonna press play and listen to it and play one note on the synth. Now what I can also do is go and make the release longer, so now it sounds kind of neat. Let's turn that rate down. Now it's not synchronized to anything. Turn up the gate. So let's clear all of this and just leave a C3 note in for now. I have my phone connected to my mixer. I'm gonna be playing an audio track from an old song I made years ago as an example of a real-time source audio. So we're just gonna be doing more glitch resampling, just like the previous episode, just to give you some more ideas. So I'm gonna disable the arpeggiator voice, arpeggiator mode off. So I'm adding a kit here, so I made a new track. Let's go into it. Hold down shift, press kit, turn to drums, and then we're going to go to kick. Just choose a basic kick drum. And we're just going to add the notes right here. So the audio source isn't synchronized to any beat on here. So we're going to break it up by adding that side chain. Now I'm going to go in a select menu. We're going to turn to side chain, send. Now automatically it recognized that as a kick drum. So it's already set to 50. Now we're going to go back to song view and back to this track. Press sidechain reverb and turn it up. So this is going to be completely off sync. So I turned up the sidechain and now let's listen to it. So it's not exactly in beat with anything on here. So if I turn it down, you can hear not in sync with that beat. Turn it up. Now it sounds like it's part of it. Now what I want to do is resample it. Hold down record play. Let's do some more.
So now I can go mute all these out. We're gonna create a new kit, shift kit. Hold down select, turn it to slice. We're gonna turn it to eight. So we have eight slices. I'm gonna press effect entire, press volume and turn it down so it's not too loud. Then what I wanna do is press shift and this bottom pad that goes to the sampling mode. So hold down effect entire and turn it to cut. That way we can see the length of each slice. It draws it out. If it was on once, it would just have one. It would just have it like, it would look like this. So you can draw out new patterns. Of course, you can extend the phrase as long or as short as you want. So there we go. Let's zoom out so we can see everything. I can change the pitch here. Let's go back to the middle. Turn it until it blinks. Maybe turn up some delay, reverb. Okay, so there's one. Let's uh, create a new clip. Shift, kit. Let's turn it. Let's do this one. Hold down the select. Slice. We're going to slice that eight times. Shift, mode. Effect entire. Cut. Effect entire. Volume, turn it down. So I'm just adding two of those, cut in half. One there. There we go. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Change the pitch. Turn up reverb, large. I can make stutters too, so let's chop that out. I'm gonna go in here, hold down, up down knob, turn right. Now that would split that right in half. So it's two notes. Let's hold up one here and chop the tail. Let's listen to it. I want this to stutter. So we're gonna do two and then four. down the reverb a little. Let's go into the filter, push down until we see EQ, turn up the bass and the high end, switch back to LPF. Let's do a new one, so new kit, shift kit. load this one hold down slice we're gonna slice it to eight again shift mode effect entire turn to cut exit out effect entire volume turn it down so I'm gonna kind of cut this up chop it up a little whoops So four and then eight and then back to one so let's see what that sounds like add some reverb some delay change the pitch Let's create a new track, shift kit. Let's load the same one. 
slice, eight, shift, mode, effect entire, cut, exit, effect all, volume, down. Pass, turn that up. Turn up the EQ. Reverb. Delay. Change it to analog. Turn the pitch down. Turn down a high pass. So we can switch around. Let's listen back to what this was. Sounds crazy. sounds so different. Let's resample that. We're gonna go in here with stutter, so. So let's resample, shift record. Okay, that's been recorded in. New kit, hold down, slice, let's change it to eight. Shift, mode, effect entire, cut. Effect entire, volume down. Let's make that repeat, and then that. Okay, let's extend. Let's add some more. Now let's listen to it. Add some uh, overdrive. Do some bit crush. Change the filter. Change the pitch. 